my job, if I should choose to accept it, <laughs> is, um, it, is basically one of a group of uh, parents and um, are some of our volunteer folks and the uh, Tillman Area Youth Association Board. And we've developed a, a planning action committee um, that is going through a series of steps to increase enrollment initially by June the 1st. Uh, one is uh, that we approach the board with a request um, that the school be allowed to recruit open enrollment transfers, which Talbot County already has an open enrollment transfer policy and there's some percentages that you can use to see whether a school can transfer students in or transfer students out. And so we have a, an open enrollment policy that we're now providing publicity and promotion activities for. So we're meeting with individual groups. We met with some parents in Bosman, Nevitt, and Martingham last week, uh, yesterday afternoon, and yesterday evening. We met at Critchlow Atkins in St. Michael's. And basically, it's an educative experience. Um, we're just talking to people about what the school has to offer. Um, what makes it a bit different, even though it's a public school, it's, it's small. There's only one teacher per grade level. Um, we have 199 years of professional experience in the seven teachers in the building. Uh, we have three Teachers of the Year nominees that teach in the school. And uh, it's, it's very child friendly and, and, and uh, not to say that other schools in the county aren't, they are. But by the time a student gets to fifth grade at Tillman, every single adult in that building has had that child in we class. We have 62 students right now. And uh, our goal is really to um, increase that number by 50%. If we, uh, that, that's really a personal goal because the Board of Education gave us no hard and fast. They want numbers. They want to see how we've done. They want to see the progression. But they said, you know, it's not like if you get to 89, the school closes. So at this point, um, uh, one thing that the system has done, which is very powerful for us, is that normally in an open enrollment school or students that come from out of area, um, the, the students um, are not provided bus transportation. It's up to the parents to get them to a school. Um, but we requested, because what happens in our school and because of the geography in the county, it's very strange the way the county is laid out, our disadvantage, quite honestly, um, that we have permission for the children that have the bus that comes to St. Michael's to stay on that bus to go to Tillman. And that doesn't pr cost anything extra for the system because that bus that dropped off students at St. Michael's in the past went to Tillman. Yeah. I mean, that was the same bus route. So all it does is keep on going just instead of, you know, eight to 10 kids on the bus, there may be 25 to 30 kids on the bus. And if that works, that's great. Ways The open enrollment certainly helps. Um, we are, um, coordinating a, a, a group of um, environmental science type activities for the coming year. And we hope to make it an environmental science magnet school. Um, that's not something that we can do right away, but we're building our capacity in that area. We've, one of the other things we, we want to have the board consider, and that would happen in the summer if they approve us to go on and continue this effort, is to, to redistrict Bosman, Nevitt, and Martingham. Right now, the school's district goes down to Claiborne at the bend in the road. And so we would love to go for a little bit further and that involves approximately 20 to 25 children. Yeah. And that would certainly facilitate making our disadvantages is certainly the geography. On the other hand, what's interesting is we, when we were first involved in the advisory committee, we talked about the, the, the fact that um, in order to get from Nevitt, for example, to come down the road to Route 33, and make a right instead of a left, or make a left instead of a right, right to go to St. Michael's and left to go to Tillman, we figured it would take about eight to 10 minutes longer to get to Tillman by the bus. Well, the parents in the advisor group told us that that was false, that the, uh, the GPS directions on the internet um, overestimated the difference because of the number of stops that a bus would make to turn right instead of left, especially in the morning traffic. And so they said it would actually take less time to get to Tillman than it would to get to St. Michael's Elementary School and going through the town. So what we thought was a disadvantage for those parents may not in fact be in terms of the time Some of the kids bus. need a little extra support. And I think between the volunteer capacity, some people you know, would benefit from the later start in the day. 
Um, and, you know, it's, it, because of the, the way the bus routes are set up in Talbot County, we start 40 minutes later than St. Michael's. That may, may be an advantage to some parents. Um, and then, you know, the after school program, you know, is there. They'd have to pick them up at the end of the day. The bus can't take them back. But on the other hand, they get a snack after school. Somebody's helping them with their homework. Um, and so there are some things that we offer. And again, TIA, the Tillmanary Youth Association doesn't cost the county anything. Yeah, and in many ways, it is comparable to a private school where there is one classroom per grade, where our, our class size now is about nine per class. We want to get up to 14 per class. And the research says that 14 to 18 is really the, the, the best number for learning to take place with students because not only is the teacher responsible for one child, but when you get up into the teens, there's normally more than one child at that level. And so they can team and they can pair and they can help each other. Basically by June 1, we have to know what our numbers are for next year. Um, and in the June board meeting, I think the, the, the board will have to make a decision um, about whether to move forward or not. But based on the planning that we've done with the redistricting, with the magnet school concept, and with the open enrollment, which quite honestly, if those other things came into place, our need for open enrollment students would go down. Um, it would be a little more selective in terms of who could get in. But, you know, the bottom line is that we, our, our data suggests that in three years we can make the cost per student exactly the same as it is as every other elementary school in the county.